Hello, I'm Elsie from the Game Editor Forum and now I'm going to show you how the development of the Sabre 2.0, my raycasting engine, uh, is going. Let's get started. Um, here you can see I have added some new textures that are uh, more detailed. Uh, to be able to show the maximum quality that Saber can produce. Uh, also change the resolution to widescreen. Mm. So yeah, let's take a closer look to the picture. You can see, even if I get this close to it, it looks all pretty. And I, I will soon explain what I have done to the engine to make these textures look this good even from a distance as small as this. And uh, yeah, uh, one note about these textures that I have downloaded. Uh, from the internet. I don't claim any of these textures as mine and I don't actually know if they are copyrighted or something but I'm not going to use them commercially I just use them here to show the quality that Sable can produce so please don't get angry to me um, well, yeah, the first thing I want to tell you that is something I actually already told you about in the development topic of Sabre. It was that uh, I found out that I can make the quality better uh, if I scale the textures in their height. They used to be 64 pixels and now I use 256 and uh, well, that of course means that there is much more pixels to use and that means uh, the texture can be much more detailed and this one here is made a wall made of texture that is uh, 64 pixels by 256 and the 64 is the width of the texture and that makes it look actually pretty ugly as you can see it's not real nice looking but after I have experimented with the possibilities of multiplying the height of the textures uh, I began thinking that what if I multiply the width also to make the textures look more pretty? And well, I tried it with this uh, texture loaded from internet, and it works real nice. These textures uh, in front of me are 256 by 256, so they are square, and as you see. It looks really pretty, and even if I get this close, I can see only a few pixels. And uh, but I don't think it's a real problem. If I make if if I use even bigger uh, graphics, say uh, 500 and well. Uh, in width and height, even these pixels won't be seen, I think, and it would look even pretty. So, yeah, and as you see, even with this modification I have done, the frame rate is the stable 32, you can see it at the top left corner, and if you wonder what the number one after the frame rate is, uh, it is the mm, 
this number that represents um, how many uh, um, growing function calls there will be skipped uh, or actually it shows what is the limit of skipping so if I increase it it skips less of these growing functions uh, which means that it makes the quality even better um, making it more than be more than one uh, causes the game to run slower on my machine. I don't know, it might be very different on someone else's computer, but if I now make it B7 or 10, you don't actually see any difference from this distance. I can return it back to 1 and it looks still the same, but if I get close to the wall, and then increase it, you will notice uh, the shape change and it can be seen the, the, it's easiest to be seen on the right side of the of the screen now. I increase it again and you see that the corners of the pixels um, get smaller and smaller until they almost disappear. Like this. But yeah, that can be included to the engine so that everyone who uses Saber to create games uh, can add uh, the possibility to change that from your tool so that users can, if they want, uh, make the walls seem even more creepy like this. So, um, yeah, this new update with scaled up graphics really gives, gives the developer uh, great possibilities uh, to uh, add options for uh, graphics and the running speed of the game. So uh, the bigger the graphics are, so the texture files, if if they are two hundred and fifty six by two hundred and fifty six it will cause the game to run a little slower than with 64 by, by 64 uh, textures. It's not a noticeable difference on resolution as small as this one, but if the resolution gets bigger it can be seen at least on my computer clearly that it slows down the game. But here comes the opportunity for the developer. You can create your game with uh, many different sizes for every texture so that and then make the player able to change between the size of the textures to use. So he can balance the running speed and the graphics of the game as he likes to. So you don't have to worry about that when make, making your game. You don't have to try to find the optimal balance for all computers, but people can balance their game's graphics and running speed on their own. So yeah, that is a great possibility, I'd say. But yeah, I think that was uh, all of the most important news about Saber. Um, thanks for watching and um, good luck.